We're going to walk through the process of uh, downloading and installing Cyberduck FTP. Uh, this is a file transfer protocol program, a client that you can use for IMET 2415, Web Design 2 class. You can also use it for ITSC 2409, ITSC 2402, and uh, multiple other classes that require FTP clients at El Central College in the IDT program. I'm going to uh, look for and find the resources link on the left side of eCampus. This should be in all the IDT courses, or at least the ones that I teach. I'm going to then find uh, install Cyberduck and connect your site. Uh, there's a link to Cyberduck at the very beginning there. I'm going to click on the word Cyberduck. And it's going to take me to cyberduck.io. You could also just navigate directly to cyberduck.io and uh, download the program. It gives you some information about the software. And then there's uh, some big links here right away. Uh, download Cyberduck for Windows or download Cyberduck for Mac. If you're on a Mac, I would use this link as opposed to the App Store. Same thing with Windows. Don't necessarily get it from the store because although this is a Libre, a free software option, uh, it does cost $25 if you want to keep it. They they will bug you a while, uh, and if you feel like uh, you've gotten plenty of use from it and you want to buy it, that's your choice. I'm going to use it a few times in this class, so I'm just going to use the very free, uh, the free version. I'm going to save that file, and I'm going to download it to my desktop so I can find it. I'm thinking it's going to load up right over here on the side. It's downloading, and it should be done momentarily. If it takes too long, I'll pause the video, but there is the Cyberduck. It's completed, and uh, we're ready to go. So I'm just going to click on Cyberduck a couple of times here. You should have already received information about your FTP server, and uh, that's going to be the We Are IDT server. That's what I'm using. There were other servers that we tried out, but We Are IDT is the one that we're sticking for in 2018. I will give it permission to run the file. It gives me the welcome. I'm going to install it. Once again, permission to install, yes. And uh, I don't know how long this is going to take, so I'm going to momentarily pause recording the video, and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, that only took about a minute on my computer, so now that it's done, I'm going to close, and I'll minimize this window for now. And uh, this is the installer. However, I'm going to click on the Start button. Here's the shortcut to the program. I'll click on that, Cyberduck. I'm using Windows 7 for this video. Um, you may have Windows 10, the uh, installation is very similar. Same thing with Windows 8, except Windows 8 or 8.1 works a little bit different when it comes to uh, giving you uh, options for shortcuts and finding files. Now that it's running, and because I'm on Windows 7, Windows 10 is a very similar option. I'm hovering on top of the uh, icon at the bottom toolbar. I'm going to right click and tell it to pin the program to the taskbar so that the next time that I want to open this, let's say that I close it, um, let's say later, I'm going to uh, just click on the icon and it will load up the program. So I'm doing that right now just for demonstration purposes, waiting for it to open again. I'll click again. And there's the program. So I'm going to tell it to make a connection, open connection right here in the top left. You should have gotten your server information, which is going to be your username and .weridt.com. For this sample, my username is frodriguez. and then .weridt.com. My username, I'll repeat it. Rodriguez, and then uh, you should all have gotten a unique password. I'll use mine and uh, tell it to save the password. Sure, I'll click on connect. Wait a little bit.
and it tells me that it's an unsecure FTP connection. I'll continue. It's an error, but not a major one. And now here I am. I'm inside my server, and here's all the Linux files and directories, rather, that are available to us. The one that I'm going to be really concerned about is public HTML. This is the local host. This is where everything goes. I double click, and now I have uh, public HTML available. This is a brand new server, so there's nothing here. Uh, one thing that I can do is, while I'm at it, while I'm here in this place, I go to bookmark menu and tell it to uh, save this bookmark. I'm going to say new bookmark based on the information that I just gave it so that the next time I can just go to bookmarks and tell you, say, hey, you know, my class, which Maybe I'm at 2415 or something else. This one I'm just going to call it F. Rodriguez FTP. Sort of a shortened version of what it's uh, giving me here. And, uh, and that should do it. I'll put in the information and close it. If I go to bookmarks, it's going to be at the bottom, F. Rodriguez FTP. Next time I want to access this server, I would just click there, and it's giving me some information that it's available for me to, to look at, and I'm already at public HTML. Now, currently, this is, this is uh, very empty, so while it's wanting to go again, I'll just click on continue. Like I said, very empty. There's nothing here. I'm going to right-click on the blank area and tell it to create a new file. It's going to ask me, what do you want this to be called? I'm going to just make an index.html file and accept it. I now have an index.html. I'm right-clicking on it again, and I'm going to tell it to edit this with something. Maybe you have Notepad++ by now. I'm going to use uh, the notepad since this is a very minimalist uh, installation of Windows and I'm going to give it some very basic HTML code so basic that this is even pre first lesson I'm going to say h1 open bracket h1 angle bracket and uh, give it my name Francisco Rodriguez and then close the H1 and then open up a paragraph angle bracket P and uh, say that this is for the uh, Central College Internet Development Technologies I'm going to close that tag and just close the file it's going to ask me, do you want to save changes? Yes, save. And uh, then make sure that it's actually published. I don't have to re-upload it. This is actually connected to the server already. So I'm going to click on Firefox, open up a new tab, and check to see what my server looks like now. If I go to frodriguez.weareidt.com, press Enter and wait for it to load. It's looking it up. My connection today is very slow. Hopefully you are sailing through this a lot faster than I am. So there's the file, Francisco Rodriguez of Central College Internet Development Technologies, because this is the index.html file. It doesn't show up on the domain up here, although if you wanted to give me this link, you could just say it's your server name, your username dot .com slash index.html and your first uh, attempt at publishing a page at least in a in a uh, assignment for any of my classes this is the link that you need to copy and paste so just highlight everything in the address bar uh, right click or press control C or command C depending on your system copy and then paste it onto the assignment and this is how you set up download and install uh, CyberDuck and uh, publish a file to your server.